Oh my god, this is a disaster. And this was also pretty affordable. The cutest set I've ever seen. This is definitely vendor proof. Hi, vendors and fellow blinks. So in celebration of Blackpink's upcoming comeback and of course their announced world tour. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. I really hope that I can get tickets manifesting for both of us because I know you guys want to go too. Um... I thought it would be a great idea to do another black pink outfits video. I've done one of these in the past and for some reason it's just so much fun to recreate outfits uh, because all the black pink members are just such style icons. The airport fits that they wear, the stage outfits, they're always on point. Um, especially Jenny's outfits are just always such an inspiration. She has a very unique style and I just love her for that. So in this video I have partnered up with Yes Style uh, to show you guys some of the outfits that Blackpink's Jenny wore. Uh, well, my recreation of it. Some are almost exact dupes, others are more like you know, inspired by it. And I think without further ado, we just should get started right away because, oh my God, I have so much to show you guys. Okay, I think we should get started with something, a look that is almost an exact dupe. And it is, ta-ta-ta-ta, a tweet item. What else can you expect? I'm in love with tweed, as you guys all know, especially now that fall and winter is coming up. I don't want to think about it. I'm a summer girl at heart. I know, like, I'm still going to the beach every single day uh, when I have the opportunity because I just want to seize this moment of summer. Well, it is technically not summer anymore, or is it? I think metrologically speaking, it is still summer, but then... I don't know, these seasons are very confusing. That's not what this video is about. It is about Blackpink outfits. Um, with the fall and winter season coming up, I feel like Tweet is going to become even bigger. Um, and yeah, I've been saying it in every single fashion video that I make. So if you don't own a Tweet item by now, what are you doing? She wore this in Paris and it's such a Parisian look. Love the vibe. We just have a moment to look at the fabric as well as these buttons. They are so, so super cute. I just can't. I'm so obsessed with this. And it also consists of this super beautiful skirt. Um, yeah. Like this with those same buttons and this like frayed hem. You know, this is honestly so good. It's like really thick and sturdy. And the inside is lined, which is a huge bonus that just makes it a million times better in my opinion. Um, the attention to detail is really nice, no loose strings or anything like that. If you're ever wondering what kind of quality Yes Style items are, often people will leave reviews, so I definitely recommend checking out that. But yeah, without further ado, let's try this on because I have really high expectations for this. So let's do this. Let's transform into Jenny. Okay, this literally might be the cutest set I've ever seen. This is so adorable. I mean, look at the tweed. Look at the skirt. I feel like this is so similar to the one that Jenny is wearing. Like I said, almost an exact dupe. Uh, this just makes me so happy. I would totally wear this to like a formal event. I feel like this is so me and so Jenny. Uh, I am obsessed. This definitely deserves a 10 out of 10. Also the fit of this is really, really good. Like the skirt, it is a little bit big, but like just roomy enough that it's comfy, you know? But especially the jacket fits so well. It's like really comfy and not too tight, but nice and snug. I, I love this 10 out of 10. Then this iconic airport look. So all the Blackpink members are obviously known for their insane airport fashion. I feel like airport fashion is such a specific type of fashion because you do want to mix comfort with class, with style. And that is not always easy. I often just go for like a trek suit that's, you know, pink or something so that it's so cute, but also comfy. But the Blackpink members usually go a little bit you know, more fashionable than that. And this look is no exception. So she is wearing these uh, cargo pants and I found really cool ones. These are not an exact dupe, but speaking about the Yes Style refuse, these had really good refuse. So I just was like, okay, I need to try this. 
Um, I think I yeah I got size large because yes, yeah, style just runs pretty uh, tight. Like the sizing is Korean sizing, and that's a little bit smaller than we are used to in the states and in Europe. So do be aware of that. But it has these pockets, um, these strings that you can like tie. Um, which I think are very unique and interesting. And the quality of this also feels nice. It's nice and sturdy, not too thin. It's not too thick either, but I hate it when cargo pants are like really thin because then it just looks like super cheap, but these look actually really good. Um, pockets on the booty and yeah, I think this is gonna look great with the tee because obviously in this photo, Jenny is wearing a Supreme tee and so I thought I need to get a brand tee that is similar to that with the red. And Rola Rola is a very famous Korean brand, often worn by celebrities. It has quickly become one of my favorite brands as well. I own a few Rola Rola items and I really, really like it. So this is the tee, just a simple white logo brand tee. Um, Let's try this on. So this is the airport look. I feel so extremely like cool in this. I know what it is, it's, like totally different from my regular style, but I'm living for it. Um, I think it looks better when I just tie my shirt into a crop top, just like Jenny in that picture. So then it looks like this. This is what the pants look like from the back. I think I did really well with the sizing because this fits perfectly, so happy with that. And I combined it with my Zadig Able boots. These are combat boots, so I thought that matched the kind of like army style vibe of the pants. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10, what do you guys think? I also really like these um, ribbons so that you can like tie your pants and like tuck them in your shoes like that. Um, I really think that completes this look. So um, yeah, this is definitely vendor approved. Then now I wanna go for a more iconic look uh, of Jenny's. Like maybe when you're a casual listener, you haven't seen these previous two looks on her. Uh, but this one, I just know that, you know, the entire world population, okay, let's not exaggerate. I feel like a lot of people have seen this because it has become so iconic over time. And this was another Chanel look at the Chanel fashion show in Paris. I love this. This is so Jenny. I found almost an exact dupe for the top, which is super cute with the rose in the middle and the little bow or little bow big bow and then this cardigan is not an exact dupe but i thought it would be cute and it kind of fits the vibe i feel like these like button details are super adorable this is just so cute so yeah um jenny look here we go this look has just become so jenny at this point i feel like it's so recognizable that it is her style. Um, I really like this, but it's not my style. Like I would never pick this out because it's like a little bit too girly for my taste. I know that sounds weird coming from me because I'm a like very much a girly girl, but you know what I mean? Like it's a little bit too preppy or something, but I think it's really cute. Uh, I feel like it gives off the perfect vibe, exactly the Chanel vibe I was going for, especially like this top is almost an exact copy. This cardigan, not so much, but it still fits the vibe. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 just because it's not like my ultimate fave and because like so many people have already done this look, but I still like it regardless. And this was also pretty affordable. So um, yeah, if you're looking for affordable dupes, this is the way to go. Then we're going for something that's a little bit more my own personal style and that's this look with this trek suit. I already mentioned before or when I go to the airport, I always wear a trek suit. Also when I'm like just doing things around the house or working and I don't have a filming day, I often wear a trek suit. It's just so comfortable 
and it looks so cool when you pick out the right one this shade of green is a little bit different than the one she is wearing but it is a very very cute set that i just needed to get it's this velvet material uh, with a zip up cardigan or vest or however you call that hoodie vest i don't know i never know how to call these things and then these trek pants um beautiful love it and then she's wearing these kind of like orangey glasses which i thought would look great with my gucci glasses so let's try this on very excited because the material feels very soft okay loves this is the trek suit um to be honest i feel like this material is just way too shiny to be flattering like it would have been so nice if this was a thick, nice velvet, but this is just, I don't know, it feels comfy, but I feel like the look of it, I don't know, it's just not the same as Jenny's velvet, and I wish it was a little bit of a lighter green as well. It's just not exactly what I was hoping for. It does match the glasses um, in a way, but yeah, that's the only thing I can think of that's really nice about this. I own better Trek suits, let me just put it like that. So for me, um, this gets, I don't know, a six and a half out of 10. What do you guys think? It's nice, like the quality is not bad, but just the look of it, it's, it's too shiny. I'm sorry, this is what it looks like from the back. Um, yeah not it then do you guys remember this photo the famous ice cream shot well i found the exact same top um this is so cute i love this this is also something that i would totally wear myself i feel like it's so summery and so nice i think it's great to wear this with like a pair of jeans maybe my lip hop jeans so adorable let's give this a go okay honestly this top is so extremely cute it looks exactly like the one jenny has i love this i didn't expect it but this is one of my favorite items from this entire haul however i do think that i have to get an ice cream just to make the thumbnail but also like this fits this whole vibe so so well I just need an ice cream. I just need an ice cream cone. It's also pretty hot, so um, let's get out of here and let's get ice cream, guys. I really love this outfit, it's so cute. I realized you guys have probably never seen my bike, but look how cute it is. It has like pink details, love. It's definitely too hot for jeans and Uggs, that's for sure. Oh my God, guys, this is what is happening with my ice cream, but we got the shot, so that's okay, but oh my God. It's totally melting. <laughs> um. Then another Parisian tweet look. Um, this tweet dress is everything. I cannot describe to you how much I love it. This is maybe my favorite piece out of the entire haul. Just because look at this. It's not an exact dupe. Um, actually, it's quite different from the one that she's wearing. But to me, it totally gives off the same vibes. And look at this. This is so super gorgeous. So we got the short sleeves instead of the long ones, which I personally like a lot better. I don't know why, I think this looks so classy with the short sleeves. And then these buttons, the tweet. This is a very heavy dress, so perfect for fall and winter. The quality of this, just like the other tweet item, amazing. No loose threads or anything like that. It's lined from the inside with this like, uh, white material that's very soft on the skin because if you don't have that the tweed will itch like crazy so very happy that they did that and yeah i just want to get this on right away i hope that it fits me this is so incredibly cute but why is it so short like literally guys you can almost see my butt like i cannot move in this otherwise i'm fully exposed this is so cute but like why that's such a disappointment because i love everything about this the fit the buttons this is such a shame like why just make it like this much longer and it would be fine <sighs> i'm really good at it because that means that 
this is almost impossible for me to wear in public and to wear something underneath like that's gonna totally defeat the purpose of it even if i wear safety shorts they will be longer than this dress um but yeah it's so cute mm, seven out of ten i guess if it was longer it would have definitely been a 10. then for some reason i just really love this look um it's like so different for jenny i feel like this is not something that i would say oh my god that's such a jenny vibe but i wanted to try it maybe because of that reason i feel like this skirt that she's wearing is really beautiful and although this is not the exact same it's like i think made of a different material because hers looks like cotton and this is i think this is polyester um there's no tag or something inside but this feels like polyester doesn't really matter because i feel like the vibe of this skirt still looks very cute and like it's kind of similar just with a black tee and some shades uh this is just so cool i love it so let's give this a go like totally different vibes but i'm living for it so this is the skirt look i combined it with this tee from guess and these sunnies which are from versace as you guys can see um and i thought that would look very pretty let me focus on them so beautiful with this logo and i really love this skirt it's like so flowy and perfect uh, my zalik Abelton boots i really like it it's like not the exact same as the look jenny is wearing but with the style is very similar right <sighs> love um this is something that i would wear as well i give this an 8 out of 10. and then last but not least this is a style that jenny hasn't worn but that reminded me of Jenny as soon as I saw it. So um, I was really inspired by this picture of the Jacquemus show. Uh, Jenny went to Hawaii for the Jacquemus show and it was this whole big thing because obviously Jacquemus is the it brand of right now. They are everywhere on social media and their designs are really cool. It's like really flowy and amazing. And that pink, that like bright fuchsia pink looked so good on Jenny. So I thought, what if we combine that pink, but not in that flowy Jacquemus style, but in a Chanel style, but we still have the two-piece set. And this is something that I would like recommend to Jenny to wear. Not that she's taking any of my advice, but you guys know, like this is what, if I was her stylist, I would say, oh my God, Jenny, you need to wear this because this is so you. And it's also very me, so maybe that's why I also chose it. And it's this, like, doesn't this remind you of Jenny? Come on, like, this could be something that she would actually wear. This jacket is it, it's like a cropped jacket, again, with the tweet, but then with the checkered, um, I think there's a, not gingham, no, there is a dog hound, hound, something like, wait, I'm gonna search, is there's a name for this kind of pattern? Okay, I found it, hound's tooth. That's what it's called. Um, kind of weird name. But anyways, this kind of pattern, I feel like that's so Jenny. Um, the button details are really, really beautiful. And it comes with a matching skirt. Oh, this skater skirt style is so cute. Because like often with tweed items, they're more of a classic silhouette, like pencil skirts. But now we have a skater skirt and I love it. I'm so vibing for this vibing for this why can't i speak today vibing for this is that even how you say it this is a vibe that's what i'm trying to say this is a vibe so let's give it a go let's try this on the last jenny look okay come on guys if this doesn't scream black pink if this doesn't scream jenny then i don't know what does i brought my light scout just for this moment because it is a moment come on this is such a vibe love love the buttons love the details just the quality of this, like I said, is so extremely good. The only downside that I can think of is that the skirt is a little big on me. So, you know, it would have been better if it was more fitted around the waist area because now I kind of have this weird, awkward gap. And it's very, very short. Um, I would constantly have to pull this down if I would wear this to let's say a concert so that's a definite minus there are shorts underneath but they are these like 
super flimsy ones. Um, they don't cover anything for me, like my whole butt is out. So, you know, that's not the best look. That's the only minus point I'm gonna give because this is, well, this would actually be a 10 out of 10 for me, but now it is um, a nine out of 10. If it was better fitted and had better shorts or was just a little bit longer, it would have been a 10 out of 10. What do you guys think? And that was it guys. Those are all the Jenny items. Please let me know which one was your absolute favorite. And I hope to see you very soon in a brand new video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 500,000. And I love you guys for that. Also, please follow me on Instagram. I've been losing some followers on Instagram and it's really bothering me. I think honestly, Instagram is just removing old accounts that are not in use anymore. Uh, but it still like sucks so much, especially as a creator, you're working with brands, etc. So if you have Instagram, please follow me. It will mean the world to me. Um, so yeah, that was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Love you loads. Yeah.